Welcome to part two of the properties of the derivative of a vector valued function. The goal of this video is to verify the property involving the derivative of the cross product of two vector valued functions. So, so in the previous video we briefly discussed these six properties and then we actually showed the proof for property four. For this video we're not going to prove property five but we are going to verify it using two different vectors. This tells us that the derivative of the cross product of vector valued function r and u is equal to r cross with the derivative of u plus the derivative of r crossed with u. So again, we're not gonna show the proof, but we will show verification with an example in this video. So what we'll do on this screen is find the derivative of the cross product using these two vectors. And then on the next screen, we'll determine the right side of this equation and make sure that they're both equal to each other. So let's start by finding r crossed with u. We'll do this by evaluating a three by three determinant where the first row will be the i, j, k vectors. The second row will be the components from the vectored value function r. So we'll have t squared, two t cubed, and negative t. The third row will come from the vectored valued function u. So we'll have t, t to the fourth, and four. And we'll evaluate this by using the cofactor expansion method. Remember this first two by two determinant will be formed by eliminating row one and column one. So we'll have two t cubed, negative t, t to the fourth, and four. This determinant will be formed by eliminating row one and column two. So we'll have t squared negative t, t and four. And the last two by two determinant will be formed by eliminating row one and column three. So of t squared two t to the third, t and t to the fourth. I'm gonna go ahead and write the result in component form. So for the x component we'll have eight t to the third minus negative t to the fifth, that'll become eight t to the third plus t to the fifth. Here we'll have four t squared minus negative t squared, that'll be four t squared plus t squared, that'll be five t squared, but we are subtracting it, so it'll be a negative five t squared. Here we'll have t to the sixth minus two t to the fourth. Now we need to determine the derivative of this cross product. So we have 24 t squared plus five t to the fourth. We'll have negative 10 t. Here we'll have six t to the fifth minus eight t to the third. The derivative of the cross product, or the left side of this equation, now what we'll do is determine the right side of the equation and make sure that it's equal to what we have here in blue. So let's go ahead and take the necessary information over to the next slide and continue. Notice to evaluate the right side, we are going to have to find the derivative of the vectored valued function r and u. Let's go ahead and do that now. We would have two t, six t squared, and negative one. And for u prime, we'd have one, four t to the third, and zero. Let's go ahead and find this cross product first. So again, the first row will be i, j, k. Second row will be t squared, two t cubed, and negative t. And the third row will be from u prime, so we'll have one, four t to the third, and zero. Let's go ahead and evaluate this. So the first two by two determinant will be from eliminating row one and column one. So we'll have two t cubed, negative t, four t cubed, and zero. Second two by two determinant will be formed by eliminating row one and column two. So we'll have t squared, negative t, one, zero. And then eliminate row one, column three, we'll have t squared, two t cubed, one and four t to the third. Let's go ahead and write this in component form. So we'll have zero minus negative four t to the fourth 
it'll be positive for t to the fourth. Here we'll have zero minus negative t. It'll become positive t, but we are subtracting it, so it'll be negative t. Then here we'll have four t to the fifth minus two t to the third. Now let's go ahead and find r prime crossed with u. First row will be from r prime, so we'll have two t, six t squared, negative one, and then for, and then u will give us t, t to the fourth, and four. So eliminate row one, column one, we'll have six t squared, negative one, t to the fourth, and four. Eliminating row one, column two, we'll have two t, negative one, t, and four. Row one, column three, we'll have two t, six t squared, t, and t to the fourth. So in component form, we'll have 24 t squared minus negative t to the fourth. That'll be 24 t squared plus t to the fourth. Here we'll have 8t minus negative t, or 8t plus t, that'll be 9t, but we are subtracting it, so it'll be negative 9t. And then here we have 2t to the fifth minus 6t to the third. Okay, so what we're trying to find now is the sum of these two cross products. Let's go ahead and figure out what that would be. So we're just going to go ahead and add the corresponding components. Let's go ahead and color code them. We're going to add this with this, this with this, and this with this. So we're going to have 24t squared plus 5t to the fourth. We're gonna have negative t plus negative 9t, that's negative 10t. And then combining the z components, we're gonna have 6t to the fifth minus 8t to the third. So now we have found the right side of this equation to be this vector valued function. And this should be the same as what we found on the previous screen. Let's go ahead and check it. Here's the derivative of the cross of r and u. And here's the sum of r cross with u prime and r prime cross with u. And it's a perfect match. So it's not a proof, but we have verified that property is valid. That'll do it for this video.